I wanted to come on and share uh, Proverbs 15. So I'm in Proverbs 15 today, um, tonight, and it's verses 29 and 33 that I wanted to share. Um, first of all, I hope you're having a good day and you had a good New Year's uh, Day dinner and a good time and lovely time with your family. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. And uh, so it says, The Lord is far from the wicked and distances himself from them. But he hears the prayers. But he hears the prayers. Sorry, but he hears the prayer of the consistently righteous. That is those with, his, with spiritual integrity and moral courage. And verse 33 is the reverent fear of the Lord that is worshipping him and regarding him as truly awesome is the instruction for wisdom, its starting point, its essence, and for honour comes humility. Praise the Lord. I just I was reading this and I thought, you know, let's let's cry out to the Lord. If you're someone that wants more of the fear of God and maybe you're someone that doesn't know the Lord and you haven't you're not, you know, you haven't given your heart to Jesus and you want to give your heart to the Lord. Well, this is a great day to do that because it's New Year's Day and every day is a good day to give your heart to the Lord. But um, if you're someone that hasn't given the heart to the Lord, your heart to the Lord yet, um, you can do that. I'll leave a prayer in the bottom of the description of this video, as I always do. I always like to give people the opportunity and invite them to pray, to, to know the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So if you, in your own time, if, you, if you'll read... Uh, Proverbs 15 from verse 29 to uh, so verses 29 and 33 um, and just read that in your own time and prayerfully read that you know it's always good to go back and just dwell on that and you know so the Lord can speak to your heart about whatever the Lord wants to bring to your attention and praise God but uh, yeah I wanted to do that today I wanted to focus on praying for more of the fear of God praying and crying out to God for the reverent fear of the Lord to enter into our hearts and that those that don't know the Lord will uh, get on board with Jesus and, and give their heart to Jesus and be saved, you know, spiritually renewed, spiritually saved from spiritual death, which is what I mean when I say saved. Um, and so it's saved from spiritual death. That's what I, that's what I mean. Because I think sometimes I bit that realize, and I think that everyone knows what that means, especially if you're an unbeliever. So saved means, if, if I'm saying saved, it means that you're saved from spiritual death. So I just thought I'd say that. So let's pray, shall we? Amen. Lord, we pray for more of you. We pray, Lord, for the for more of the fear of God. Lord, we pray for the fear of God to enter into our hearts, Lord. When we have the fear of God, everything aligns with you, Lord, and everything follows because it's holy. we want to be holy, we want to please you, we want to live a life holy unto you. So we pray, Lord, for the fear of God to enter into our hearts, Lord. Help us to, um, I pray for that, for more of your holy fear, Lord, to come into our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your holy fear that's coming into our hearts right now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you don't know the Lord, as I said earlier, I'll leave, as I said earlier on, I'll leave that prayer at the bottom of the video for you uh, to say that prayer. Or you could say that prayer with me now if you wanted to pray, pray now. Um, so uh, let's pray for those who want to pray now. Let's pray. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We just say, if you repeat after me out loud, it's dear Jesus. Dear Jesus, come into my heart, Lord. I'm sorry for all my sin. I'm sorry for what I'm doing, Lord. I repent, Lord. I repent of all witchcraft and recognise that it's not of you. Anything that's consulting anybody else or anything else, Lord, is not of you and you don't want that for us and that's not your heart for us, Lord. You want us to look to you alone. So I'm sorry, Lord, for all witchcraft, all anything to do with the new age, Anything to do with anything that's cards, um, stones, anything that's I would do, Lord, to consult before you and do anything that you say that is abominable in your sight, Lord God, I repent for now. In Jesus' name, Lord, live in me by your Holy Spirit and show me the way. Help me to live holy. I believe you are who you say you are and that you died and rose again, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, you would help me to live a holy life for you. And I align with you now, Lord God, I align. I come to you and I make you Lord and Saviour of my life. 
I'm sorry, Lord, for all of my sin. And I want to get right with you, Lord, in Jesus' precious holy name. I pray, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your forgiveness and grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, that now I have eternal life. Help me to let go of the things that are not of you, Lord, that I need to get, I need to get rid of in my life. In Jesus' name, show me the way. Help me, Lord, and even people too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And if you said that prayer, and you gave your heart to the Lord and you've just said that prayer with me. Congratulations, because your name is, is written in the book of life according to the word of God. That when you give your heart to the Lord and you confess your sins before our God and you ask him into your heart, you are forgiven and you are your name is written in the book of life. So celebrate, celebrate that. Glory to God and welcome to the family of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. And so, yeah, let's meditate on that today. Let's meditate on the word of God today. These verses, if you will, in your own time. So it's chapter 15, verses 29 and 30. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.